What is going on, ye filthy, stingy apes? Here today to talk to you about Ken Griffin and uh, some more stuff that's been going on with him. And the reason I'm here to talk about this topic today is because recently I've made some videos. Of course, they were just parodies. When being serious, but I uh, made one video where I claimed to have applied at Citadel Securities. I'm sure everybody that's been following me for a while knows that was complete BS because I would never work for that ass clown. But that was one video that I had made. Made some more about Ken Griffin. Uh, heck, I think, you know what? Every single video I make, uh, I'm pretty sure it's about Ken Griffin. Because I made that video about applying at Citadel Securities and talking about how great it is to work there. And if, you, if you'll remember, if you did watch the video prior to that one, the reason I said that I applied there and it's so great to work there is because, uh, well, we recently found out that he had uh, sponsored... I guess you could call it sponsored, a trip for 1,200 of his Asian employees, that's right out of Tokyo, um, he sponsored a trip for them to Disney World. Not just them, but also their families, he provided child care, I mean everything, right? It was amazing for those people. That's just fine and dandy if you work there. Actually, no it's not. There's a reason why you don't want to work there, okay? Apparently, Ken Griffin had a little bit of beef with uh, some of his previous employees, two of them to be exact, and they decided to leave Citadel and kind of venture off on their own and do something that they believed in, something that they're fond of, something that they thought would be fun, and they could make, you know, money at, like something profitable for them. So, what kind of employer, let me ask you this, what kind of employer would, uh, you know, go after their employees or previous employees for trying to leave the company and do something to better themselves, do something to make maybe a little bit more money, probably a lot more money. Also, something that they just really enjoy doing, something that they believe in. And, you know, in this particular case, you're going to learn that the two empl employees that left they had conflicting beliefs Well, when it comes to what Citadel believes in, right? Or when I say Citadel, obviously, I mean Ken Griffin because he runs that joint. So they their beliefs did not align with those of Ken Griffin's. And due to that, I believe, and I'm pretty sure they believe, they, uh, they're paying the price right now. He's really coming after them. But you make that decision on your own. I'm just going to provide you with the information that's in this article. And uh, you tell me what you think in the comments after you smash that like button. So this article is titled, Citadel Securities is locked in a legal battle with 2X staff who left to start a crypto firm and say they're victims of corporate bullying. So these guys are alleging that they're victims of corporate bullying and uh, they're alleging that the you know aggressor here, the bully, is none other than Ken Griffin. Ken Griffin has made some scathing comments about cryptocurrencies in recent years. The billionaire founder of the hedge fund Citadel and Citadel Securities, the market-making firm based in Miami, said in October 2021 that due to the lack of regulatory certainty around cryptocurrency, we just aren't involved today. He also added, I just don't want to take on the regulatory risk in this regulatory void that some of my contemporaries are ready to take on. Griffin also described crypto as a jihadist call against the U.S. dollar. Alex Casimo and Leonard Lancia, those are the two ex-employees that we previously mentioned, did not share the same view of crypto. They left Citadel Securities Europe in March of 2021 and the following month founded Port Portofino Technologies, a Swiss-based startup that's developing high-frequency trading-grade technology for digital assets. They publicly announced their new venture in September of 2022, along with funding of more than $50 million from outfits including Valor Ventures, Global Founders Capital, and Coat 
Valor's founders include Peter Thiel, while Global Founders has invested in companies including Slack, Zalando, and HelloFresh over the past two decades. The venture has faced legal challenges by Citadel Securities, whose European arm filed a case in London in June 2022. So I believe now we're going to get to the good stuff, and uh, now you're going to kind of find out why you should never work for Citadel, because you're not allowed to do better there, right? According to Portofino, Citadel's core complaint is that Lancia and Casimo allegedly violated their employment agreements by soliciting Citadel Securities employees, which is also a claim that they reject. A hearing at the London Court of International Arbitration is scheduled for May of next year. Citadel has not been content to only contest the matter in Europe. In May this year, it began legal action against Portofino in the U.S. as well when it sued the startup in New York, claiming the founders had stolen trade secrets and told bold-faced lies to their colleagues about their activities and intentions. Now, I'm definitely not an expert. Okay? I don't have all the facts in this case. But what I can tell you and what I do have the facts about is uh, kind of what Ken Griffin did to the apes, to us, what he's still doing to all of us. You know, uh, he talks about stealing. Well, <laughs> he steals, right? Uh, stealing, cheating, lying, all those go hand in hand, right? But yet he's willing to accuse others of doing so. The balls on this guy, they must be tiny. It's the money. The money's got the balls. Portofino said in its initial response that Citadel's legal action was without merit. Actually, they said unmeritous or something like that. Anti-competitive and a classic example of corporate bullying. Uh, somehow I tend to believe that. I think I'm on their side. Written in a big, bold, black letters and also uh you know has quotes around it it says intimidation and interference it says the latest chapter in the wrangling came this week when portofino filed a motion in the u.s district court for the southern district of new york to dismiss the suit it argues it's a european dispute and that Citadel Europe had chosen to first take action in London. And that argument sure does make sense to me. Why would you be, well, why would you have to be held accountable in several different jurisdictions? I mean, unless Ken Griffin just wants you to, and he's got the money to, you know, do whatever, right? Portofino also stated a desire to conclude the London case as quickly as possible so it could proceed with its day-to-day -day business free of Citadel Securities intimidation and interference. Portofino said there's no evidence it had actually stolen trade secrets and that the allegations were clearly meant to intimidate other Citadel Securities employees who were thinking about jumping ship. The motion also points out that after Griffin made his comments in October of 2021, Citadel Securities apparently had a change of heart about crypto. In March of 2022, Griffin told investors that the firm needed to give serious consideration to becoming a market maker in crypto. Per the motion in December of 2021, Citadel Europe's outside counsel began, de began demanding information from Portofino and its founders, and soon after began shaking down Portofino's recruiters, investors, and potential investors for information about Portofino's Portofino, including by threatening litigation. Don't know about you, but that does sound like bullying to me. In January of 2022, Griffin sold a $1.2 billion stake in Citadel Securities to venture capital firms Sequoia and Paradigm. 
CEO Pang Zhao said at the time the funds would help Citadel expand into new asset classes. Matt Huang, the Paradigm co-founder, said that expansion would include crypto. Citadel Securities representative told Insider in a statement that Lancia and Casimo secretly designed and launched a crypto market Mark crypto market making firm while employed by Citadel and lied to colleagues and held clandestine investor meetings during which they touted <laughs> I mean they touted the access and the advantages they gained from working here. Further, their attempt to improperly poach Vincent Prior, a New York based employee described as the aggregator of all things crypto at Citadel Securities is undisputed. We have a long track record of supporting employees who choose to start their own businesses, but when they brazenly engage in deception to do so, we will hold them accountable. Prier, who later joined Portofino, had also been the subject of legal action by Citadel Securities that was uh, settled out of court. A representative for Portofino told Insider in an email that Lancia and Casimo firmly deny all the allegations made by Citadel Securities. So that's the end of the road here, folks. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is where I need to know what are your thoughts on this. Is Citadel a good place to work for? Do you respect Citadel? Do you respect Ken Griffin? What would you do in this situation? Would you fight Ken Griffin tooth and nail, or would you just bend over? Well, I think we all know the answer to that. Well, if we're speaking on my answer, I think y'all already know. Anyhow, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this, what you think about Ken Griffin, what you think about Citadel Securities, and what they're doing to their former employees, because I'm uh, kind of interested.